It is a dying art and skill. The cobbler. Few young people are entering that profession. You know, at one time in East Tennessee, nearly every community had a shoe repair shop, and dozens were located in Knoxville alone, yet few remain today. Well, tonight, WATE 6 on your side consumer reporter Don Dare with the story of a hmm. cobbler in Fountain City who has no plans of retiring, but his shop will be moving. That's correct. You know, Repairing shoes is a meticulous task, but Hardy Johnson, he's been at it since the 1940s. There are fewer than 7,000 shoe repair shops in the country today, according to the Shoe Service Institute of America. That's just a fraction of the nearly 60,000 stores that were sprinkled around the United States in the 1940s. Lots of footwear today is no longer stitched together as it once was because a machine steam presses the soles to the shoe in half the time it would take to sew it. So fewer repairs are made. However, for the few repair shops that remain open, business is brisk. And one longtime cobbler says he has no plans of calling it quits. Hardy Johnson has been tapping heels on shoes about all his life, ever since he was a teenager. Now he's 91. Mr. Johnson is comfortable and happy with his profession in a room with old, worn-out, repairable shoes. First, he started shining shoes, working alongside his dad in a downtown Knoxville shop. Happiness is the key to his success. Hardy says if you love what you are doing, you will be successful. My father was in it. And I started helping him, and then as the years went along, uh, he got disabled, and I just took over the whole thing. It was a great job that I just couldn't leave. For Mr. Johnson, who is highly skilled at repairing anything leather, this is not an 8-to-5 job. You have to go beyond the call of duty, even at the age of 91. you got to be able to work long hours, mostly. I've worked at many hours overtime. I just love the trade. That's why I stay here so much. I'd rather be here than home. His work home is bursting at the seams with shoes and the robust sense of dye, polish, and glue. Custom Shoe Rebuilders in Fountain City has been located at several locations. Hardy remembers when there were once six shoe repair businesses along Broadway. Since 1953, all have closed in North Knoxville, but one. They're disappearing quickly. Uh, I think it's too much work for the young people to uh, to want to do. Jim Johnson carries on the family trade started in the 1920s. As his father worked with his dad as a teen, so has Jim. He now operates the business. It's a pleasure. Um, he and I only had one disagreement in the whole time we worked together, and it was over credit card machines. <laughs> he just did not want to take credit cards. Jim won that disagreement. A credit card machine sits on their front counter. Jim says his dad now sees the wisdom to modernizing. Over the years, Mr. Johnson has become a celebrity in the Fountain City community. The wall of his shop is filled with local honors, mementos, and pictures with community leaders. Nearly 70 years ago, there was a break in Hardy's shoe repair career. He volunteered and joined the Army and served in the Korean War. However, not as a cobbler. They put me in the Signal Corps, had me climbing poles in Korea. Instead of repairing boots. Right. <laughs> but I enjoy it, and I made it back fine. After nearly 10 years at the present location, their workspace has become crowded. They need more room. You're going to be moving. Yes, next door. <laughs> <laughs> Not very far. Not very far. They've moved from 5503 to 5501 Broadway. The new shop offers three times the amount of space. Mr. Johnson says he owes loving his job to everyone, to his customers, suppliers, and to his son. His passion has never waned. It's been a good life and good career? It sure has. I do it all over again. Now, in Knoxville today, Mr. Johnson says his business is one of only two family-owned shoe repair shops still operating. Jim Johnson says their business remains viable not only because they repair shoes, but also provide shoe modification lifts, soles and heel replacements, as well as leather repair for purses, jackets, and belts. Some people remember wearing sneakers only during gym class, but not anymore. Listen to this. The sale of sneakers and other athletic footwear outsold dress and casual shoes, in other words, leather shoes, 
two to one last year. How many pairs of soft shoes do you own? <laughs> and Lori and Bo, I a once lot. Had, yeah, <laughs> a lot. I had a pair of boots, yeah. soft sole boots, and they came apart and I duct taped them together. I didn't take them to Harvey. <laughs> yeah, don't take those over there. No. Duct -tape oh, together. My but, but that is a lost art. I mean, it, it really is. is. It certainly yeah. is. And I remember so many in oh, the yeah. town where I grew up. And yeah. Sure. Only very few. Very few here in town. And oh. what a sweet man, yeah, too, by the guy. way. Yeah. And he's still busy. Well, I'm, I love it. I'm glad yeah. that he's moving next door. Yeah. Everybody knows where to find yes. him. All right, Don. Thank you. Hey, if you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddare.wat.com. You can also call his 600 your side hotline number at 865-633-5974.